The holiday getaway is underway tonight. Between now and January 2nd, AAA expects nearly 92 million of us to be on the go. The vast majority, more than 83 million, will hit the roads. Those roads are safer thanks to technology. And now, a new generation of cars may save even more lives. They automatically take over for the driver to stop short of a crash. We asked Mark Strassman to show us how it works. Today's cars are the safest ever, but on average, 90 people die in crashes every day. Volvo's XC60 is part of the latest generation in auto safety, a car that can prevent a crash from happening at all. We tested it on the track of the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in Virginia. Adrian Lund heads the institute. For some reason, you don't see the traffic stopping in front of you. It'll bring this car to a complete stop, no crash. Watch, I drove the Volvo 15 miles per hour right at a mock car made of foam rubber, never taking my foot off the gas. Now you can see that it says right here, auto braking was, was activated. activated. Radar in the Volvo's grill scans 500 feet ahead and activates its low speed auto braking system, standard on this $32,000 SUV. At 19 miles per hour or less, the car can stop itself from hitting another vehicle. Another optional system uses a camera to stop the car from hitting pedestrians. Yeah, that's impressive. Eight car makers also have optional high-speed auto brake systems. Even at highway speeds, in less than a second, the system can slow the car as much as 10 miles per hour. The low speed systems limit damage and injuries. The high speed systems save lives. When they scrub off some of that speed, that can be the difference between surviving the crash and dying in the crash. Big difference. Big difference. Other safety systems already on the market include blind spot monitors and lane departure systems, which help guide a car back on course if the driver accidentally veers into another lane. If you put all the systems in every vehicle, the Insurance Institute estimates they could save as many as one-third of the 33,000 people killed in crashes every year. Can you envision, if not a crash-proof car, a fatality-proof car in the not-too-distant future? I think we can envision a fatality-proof car. Um, it's not to say that we will actually get to zero deaths, but we're going to get very close to zero. How soon? I think we can be there in the next decade. By that time, Lund says, the automatic braking system that's on the Volvo today will probably be standard equipment on all cars. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Ruckersville, Virginia.